Welcome back everyone. Just come on back from a beverage. Good old zero coke. Thought I'd better get in and do this video like I promised last week. Get it done. Got these all stripped down. These are off the printing presses that I, that I had months ago. Um, got two, pulled the pulleys off and that sort of thing. D, got it down to where I can actually manage it with, so other one, otherwise I'm not taking up too much of everyone's time in their day. So I, you know, just thought I'd take the pulleys off, make it easier. Um, I've loosened all the, all the screws because they're only screws. So to find out how much copper we're going to get out of these, I'll probably try and get in size for all the outer casings because they're all cast. Maybe not with that one, I don't know. It looks like it may be, but we'll try and get all in size for all of that. Um, gonna be very interesting on how much copper we get out of these. I got me stripper machine all working. Got it so it's a one man band. So we'll just get to pull it apart. This one here, and we'll go through and just do all the screws. Get them all out. And welcome back to our everyday living if I haven't said it. Doo -doo -doo. They do have a fair bit of weight in these. Oh, screws dropping things. That's our waste bin for all the bolts and stuff. Nothing else out of there. Push that aside. Get this one. So I said, just go through and do all the bolts. Get them all out. And we should just need a hammer. Give it a whack. Give the shafts a whack. I don't think there's any copper on the shafts. That's that end. Turn it around. This one here. I haven't got a flathead that goes in the drill or a tech bit of that nature. So she's all screwdriver job here. Very peaceful here today. It's good we're coming into the quiet part of the season. Not many boats coming out. That's that one. We always get motorbikes. Motorbikes going past though. Don't think that's going to come out of there. We may have an issue with that. May do. One, two, three, four, five. They're all gone. Must have took them out. Bikes are already on the, the buzzer around out the front. I reckon that's good to go as it is, that. I can't seem to get into those. There's only a bearing inside there anyway. So let's get to and block it apart. Ah, choice of hammer. We'll go the big one. We'll start with the big one first. She not moving. She not moving. Chisel. Chisel is over here. I moved all my tools. Sit that there. That there. He's solid on me. Eh? 
we'll get the screws out. Doesn't matter how you get them out, as long as they come out. That bearing's a bit rusty in there. It's cast alloy. Magic stuff, that. Right, well, there's our bearing. There is no... Mm, no, there's no circlip on that side, so that should come out with a breeze. This side should be the same. We'll just have a look anyway. It might be cast alloy too, that casing. That cap. There's no get that out of there. There's no circuit that side. Sit that there. Already greased up. Well, 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 how do we get them apart? There's no extra bolts. Trouble already in paradise. Oh, here we go, here we go. We got action. Here's the boss. Boss lady. <laughs> well, there we go. One piece of cast alloy. Ah, cast alloy. Cast it. Get this one off. We made a little. Dump that out there. Look at that. Look at that. It's a big, big armature. Centerpiece, whatever you like to call it. Oh, yeah. Stand it up, give it a flog, that pulls it apart, oh, set them aside, there's a lot in there, I may have to put the grinder through there, just to get that out of there, that's a lot of copper in there, I hope it's copper, we'll give it a test. Sure is copper, look at that, that's that one. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that's a copper one inside the centre there. Damn. That's a special one. She's not an aluminium one, I don't think. We'll have a look. Oh, that's copper. That is dinky dye copper one, that one. Mmm. That over there. Damn, I'll get that off that. Might have to get to and cut that because that's copper. Mm, another piece there of cast steel. We'll have a look at that one later. Right, we'll get this end off here. Don't try and catch it. And damage the fingers. Right. Definitely a lot of copper in that one. And centers out. That's even copper. Damn. I might have to see what I can do about those. What I'd get for that, copper steel. These plates might even come off. They might come off. Then that shaft would probably punch out. Get that plate off the first. There we go. Got him off. That's all done there. Geez, that had some water in that. Though. 
Testi mehr. Test on that copper. So they worth it. That off there. That to there. But these are very interesting. That's been welded. So these plates here might come off. That's got a keyway there, so it definitely will come off that keyway that side, so that keyway goes right through. Wow, that's a big chunk of copper. Being a three, they're all three phase motors. Damn, I'll we'll have to look into that one. Is that one the same? Is that the one the same? No. No, he's different. I've never come across that where they're copper. They're usually aluminium. Give a look at this. That's copper. Yeah. Copper. I've never come across that. That one's copper as well. I would not gather that. Wouldn't credit it, but yet she's definitely copper. Yeah, that's bending like copper. That whole centre. Mmm, we won't be throwing them in a shred pile. But anyway, let's get these apart. We'll work on those later. They're just another project, I reckon. So, where the hell am I going to cut these? I may have to go a bigger wheel or go a bigger grinder. Might be the better thing. Go a bigger wheel. I'll put a bigger wheel on that and I'll get back to this. Bigger wheel on. Turn this this away, I reassess this one, cut it through there, then turn it over, get that bolt out of there, then I turn it over and I'll cut through the bottom. I could do there and there and split it that way, but I thought, well, it's nice and flat, it's going to be stable like that, and we'll cut it off centre of that pin, straight through there, that looks like the thinnest part. So we'll just get to it, start it, get it going, get that out so we can get it over into the copper muncher. Give that a tap to find out if we're separated. Yes, we're separated. We might not need to tap, cut the bottom. Put that to there. I hope it hasn't got pins going in it sideways, that's all. That's what I'm more concerned about. Pins going into it sideways, it doesn't look like it. Get that to there, get it back up and give it a flog. Hit it that way. Seem the wires are out this side, so take it that way. No, just as easy to cut the other side. And it'll fall apart. Should be enough. Should be. Another chisel. Chisels are over here. I moved everything, didn't I? Chisel, chisel. Got a big one in here somewhere. All the tools in the sun, I can't tell them what I need. There it is. There it is, there it is. Going to the side. Come on, you should come out. You should move, son. Oh, 
how you would do that. Doesn't want to cooperate. Take it that way. And she's loose. Why aren't you coming out? Must be on a pin. On a pin affair. Yes, it's on a pin. There'd be a pin in there somewhere. Right, so I'm just going to take that out of there. Keep cutting here, split it in half. Easy. Sit that over there. Definitely on a pin somewhere there. May not have been. Yes, it was. That pin there. I was right. That pin there. I wouldn't have got that out. I'll make a bit of room over here. We'll keep going. It's a nice one, that. We'll spin. Split that in half with that over there. <coughs> Done some upgrades on that. A lot of upgrades. Now, this one may not have a pin. I didn't see one in it, but we just never know. Might be under there. Might be, but we'll do the same thing. Cut it. Get that off there. easy that there number two and number three actually Stubborn. There we go. Got something happening. Got that one happening. Talk about stubborn. Other side. Try the other side. Where me chisel go? That's got a weld there. Right, we'll cut the other side of that. Oh, and it's got a weld down there. And it's got a weld there. Geez, they didn't make this one very easy. It's welded on each piece. Bugger. Well, well, well. Is it on that side too? It is. So we've got to cut all of that out. Hmm, how can I do that without doing that? Hmm. Right, okay, we've got no choice but to cut each side of that weld, which is there. Better get a sharpie. Sharpie in hand. That's about, I would say, there, down that line, 
it's not a very straight line it doesn't have to be then we've got to come around this I would leave the hard one to last to here then we're going to do a double cut here one there and another one there that's according to this side then down there we better get to and undo those bolts so we can mark that down there we've got over there This one here is there. See, once we get the, well, I'm just wondering, instead of doing that, if I just cut it through, I'm gonna give one a try. See how I go, cut it through that way. And if that works, it's the same amount of cuts. Still gonna take the bottom off that. But I'll leave it on there for support for now. Is that going to do the trick? That is going to do the trick. I've got that spot on. Yeah, that'll come out. Where are we this side? Right there, there to there. So it starts there. We'll come across to there. That looks about right. Yeah. The, the. Yeah, that pulls apart. Oh, I've got to grind that off there and then it should just pull apart. Oh, itchy nose. Too small to hang on to. Just a little bit too small. Little hammer. Yeah. Gonna undo those. Gonna undo them. All the stuff is over here. Bolts are over there. Or sockets, I should say. Bigger. 916. So it's got to be bigger than 916. We'll go 516 Whitworth. Spot on the dollar. Where's all of our bits and pieces? In here. It's the bigger one. steel in size right now we can get to the bottom geez that's cruddy in there very cruddy in there gotta cut that one there a little bit more have i no he's right through maybe not he's not online do have to cut that one more use the hammer handle as a stopper hammer handle as a stopper come around to the next one the next one's going to be harder because there's no window no window whatsoever so we've got to do a judge judge that to there to there I reckon it's about there, probably there, and this one would be about the same. It's 
got a square mark there. I hope that's not welded into there. That mark is starts from there. Come over to there. Doing everything by feel here. Feel and judgment. Come over a little bit more with that one a bit longer. Do those two. Spinning around a bit. Around to there. Don't move, son. Got that one. Yep. Got those two. We're got to do the same to there. So that is way up there. I don't need to cut it there. Got to go there. Go um, a smidget from there to there. Do the same here. Eyeball it. Tell you what I'm doing all right with the eyeball. It's about there. Pretty good straight line that one. Go there, hammer in there. Need a big wheel everyone. So we've only got that there to go. See what we progress have, has happened. That's a bit hot. <laughs> Do it every time. Just a little bit hot, a wee bit. Light over, might have better success. I don't think I cut that. Not that one I didn't. That one I have. That one I have. That one I have. So we'll put a chisel down here. Another chisel here. This one, we'll pry it off. Don't think we got that one. Got it. Stretching the friendship, but we got it. Certainly got it. Put you back down there. I know who's winning. Me. Not that. We are a winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Here we go. It's almost off. Ha. Ah. 
<laughs> Ooh, come off. Come off and out. That's a big one. Now that's only steel, so they can go down there. Right. Next on the agenda, we've got a couple of pins there that we've got to get rid of before we can put it over there. I think that's the same with that one. I'll have to do this, do some cutting on that as well. Yeah, there's some pins there that I've got to get out. So we might just yeah, there's one there, one at each. It's holding all these plates together. Um, this one's the same. It's got little pins on it there and there. Don't know whether you can see it, but I'll get to and I'll I'll cut a centre through those. Uh, these ones here, it's a bit far to be cutting right through the whole lot of that. So I might just cut the pins out and I'll bring these back after that. I tell you what, that was very interesting doing all of that. I got to and cut this off this, press the, the shafts out. The copper is actually fed through, I, I reckon it's melted through, um, through that. As you can see here, she's got a bit of steel in there. And yeah, so let's see what we can get for those. Thought I'd chop that one off and find out. Very interesting. There's a lot more copper there than, well, it might be more steel than copper. But anyway, let's get into these. Find out how much we're going to get out of those. And I'll get the scales out and we'll weigh how much copper there is. I'll get this over here first. Get them all over there. Get them on the working bench. Do the big daddy of them all first. See how we go with this. Won't need that. Uh, get our rope up and out of the road for a second. That's for when I'm standing over here. Sit that there. The big daddy of them all. Make sure it's centre, looks good, foot pedal, I don't actually need it but I'm going to use it. Whoop. We're not going to be able to use this, I don't think, start squashing it. We'll give it a go, we'll give it a go. We've done a bit of an upgrade with the plate here and made sure this wasn't going to twist and all that sort of thing, so got to give it a go. Jump back where it was. We may have to cut this one off. With the grinder. It's looking that way. Spin him round. Go in that crack there. Get my arm out of the road. So everyone can see. Yep, she's gonna be. Yep, she's gonna be a grinder job. Because of these plates are so soft. Then we'll use the extractor here. I don't know how I'm going to do that, because I've already cut it. Mm. Got to keep going, everyone. Unfortunately, it's not going to work the way I want to do it. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. Nothing always goes to plan. Pop that into there. 
Get it warmed up. Get it open enough. We'll cut the centre out. Cut it through the centre. Line up, line up, line up. Alright, spin that on that. Hopefully we've got it good enough. Yes, we've got that good enough. Throw that one back on the bench. Got to finish him off with the grinder. And get out the big tools. Got the scales ready. These ones might be a bit different. Make sure it's square. Oh, screwdriver. Little pry bar. Report. Report. Beautiful. Next one. Get into the other one on the bench. Get this one done before we get back to extracting all the rest out of there. So what do we got to do here to get that apart? What have we done? What have we cut and what haven't we cut? Might have to get the big tools out. That's cut there. Big chisel out. I'll put it over here. Can't see. Can't see what I've done. Oh, okay. Yep. No problem. No problem, but a problem. Yes. K K K K K. Side cutters are there. Turn him up like this. It's pushing through the center here. So we'll just chop it. Side cutters. Might have to use the grinder after all, everyone. 
unfortunately yep we're going to bring out the big guns so we'll go and get the big guns i'll tell you what that was an effort got the big guns out got it done had to finish it off with the small guns the little one anyway let's get to and pull this copper out oh dear. get our rope happening again Went wrong way. That up there. It's only a car jack. It does the job. Whatever does the job, does the application. At the time. Foot pedal back here. Is that a bit of copper? No, it's a bit of welding wire. Let's keep pulling. Simple object, makes life easy. Just got to keep the foot off the pedal. That's all it is. Almost pull that out by hand. There we go. It's an easy one, this one. Oh, we better use the power. No, it's all good. Look at that. Give it a wobble. That's done. That is done. That half. Now do the other half. Well, that was simple. At the end, wrong way, wrong way. That's a lot of plate steel. In for the next one.
Oh, I've got another one somewhere there. One, two, three. There should be another one. Hmm. Buried it. Where's the buried it? It's down there. I think I need a bigger tub. Well, that's the last one there. Better not put that there. That into there. Let's go and weigh it up. All right, all of our steel. Get our big device out of the road. All of our steel. Turn it on. Let it zero out. Kilos this is. Get it all on there. Make a bit of room for two lots. So just with these printing, um, yeah, the printing presses, that's what we're doing. Printing press motors. Just with the motors, just with the steel inside the motor, not the cast steel. 25 kilos, which is 55.2. 2.0 pounds uh, If you want to go another one we go 55 pounds and 3 ounces So that's all right for the steel so much for that Leave that there. Oh shoot Get that off there That little bit don't weigh much <sighs> Right now we'll weigh the weigh it with the tub and then weigh it without the tub. We'll just weigh the tub Go and put it in our bin then Right, with tub, kilos, 10.08 kilos, or oh, actually it changed, 10.10 .10 kilos, 22.24 uh, 22 pounds, and if everyone wants to know the ounces, 22 pounds, 4 ounces. Now we'll go and weigh all that out. Uh, so we've got to write that down, 10.10, .10. we'll go and empty this out, see what the tub weighs, empty, 0.64 kilos, 1.36 pounds, oh 1.4 pounds, 4.0 pounds, mm. and 1 pound 6 ounces, so subtracting all of that, from your kilos, pounds, and everything like that. 10.10 .10 brings us back to 9.46 kilos. I uh, taking uh, 1.40 pounds, 
pounds brings us back to 20.84 pounds which is you go to the ounces as well which it's only 1.6 one one pound six ounces the tub so that'll bring us back to 20.8 pounds 20 pounds eight ounces so i'll get it right so anyway hope you've enjoyed tagging along with me pulling these apart definitely going to find out what we can do with this stuff i tell you what there's some nuggets in that if we can get it a little bit of copper out of that we'll see what happens scrap run coming soon so yes there will be a scrap run coming gonna load this up turn our machine off put that into here It'll just go as pressing steel. Get that out of the road. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed tagging along with me. June's in the background still, pulling all the copper out of the motors. Um, I've done a lot of upgrades with the, the, um, the what would you call it? It's a log splitter turned into a copper extractor. That's the way to put it. It's a copper extractor. It's extracting it out of the motors. Um, but yeah, done a lot, a lot of upgrades. I had to put an extra bolt behind here to stop this one from bending over. It was getting a bit of a banana. Put a couple of bolts down here to stop it all twisting around. Put an extra plate here. And I spent oh, probably half a day just modifying it. So now this doesn't move. Um... It used to twist sideways and it wasn't cutting them properly. When you get the soft ones like this, like they're very soft, it does tend to warp the whole thing that way, as you've all seen. Um, the harder ones are better. I don't know why, but that's the way they are. So anyway, um, going to end it off there, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed tagging along with me and June in the background. Uh, she doesn't say much in the background, but anyway... She's there. No, no. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So if you've liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Now, also to when I'm scrapping, doing this sort of stuff, I don't wear gloves. I'm not worried about how dirty my hands get. If my hands are dirty, I know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping. Definitely in the scrapping side of it at the moment because that's where we are. And I will see you in the next one. Not sure about June, but anyway, see you all on the flip side. Cheerio!